if a minor fraudulently misrepresenting himself to be of a full age and induces another person to lend him some money or to enter into a contract, can he be later on allowed to plead that the, such a contract is void because of the reason that when he was contracted, he was a minor or whether in such a case, section 115 of the Indian Evidence Act will apply. It is now settled by the preponderance of the authority that there is no such estoppel against the minor. The infant is not estoppel from taking up the defense of infancy. The policy of law is to protect the person below the age from contractual liability and naturally the doctrine of estoppel cannot be used to defeat that policy. Ratification Since the minor's contract is void, he cannot therefore validate it by ratifying after attaining majority. For the obvious reason that ratification relates back to the contract. In an Allahabad case, a minor borrowed some money by executing a bond. When he became a major, he executed a second bond for earlier borrowed money as well as interest on it. The court held that the second bond was invalid because it was without consideration. Similarly, where a minor executed a promissory note after attaining the majority for the consideration he received during his minority. It was held that the promissory note was invalid because it was without consideration. Thus, from these two cases, it is clear that there is no question of ratification in such case. Specific performance of minor's contract. Since the minor's contract is wholly void, the question of specific performance of such a contract will not arise. Even the contract entered by the guardian of a minor on behalf of this is void and cannot be specifically enforced. But the agreement in favor of the minor are perfectly valid. In other words, an agreement which are beneficial to the minor are valid. The only difficulty is that the minor cannot claim the specific performance of an agreement because specific performance being an equitable remedy can be granted only when there is mutuality. That is, when each party is entitled to the remedy. A contract may be entered into on behalf of a minor by guardian or by the manager of the estate. In such a case, contract can be specifically enforced by or against the minor in these circumstances. Number first, the contract is such that the manager is competent to enter into such contract on behalf of the minor so as to bind the minor. Second, the contract is for the benefit of minor. If either of these two conditions are wanting, the contract cannot be specifically enforced. The Privy Council in Mir Sarwarjan versus Fakhruddin Privy Council has held that the guardian of the minor has no power to bind the minor by a contract for purchase of immovable property and the minor is not entitled for a specific performance of contract as there is no mutuality. In subsequent case, Baburam versus Saidun Nisa court held that Privy Council ruling given in the above case is confined only to those cases where a contract has been entered into by the guardian on behalf of minor and the guardian is not appointed under the Guardian and Wards Act. But if a guardian is appointed under the Guardian and the Wards Act, a contract by him on behalf of the minor for the performance of immobile property is valid. So the case of a certified guardian of a minor selling the minor's property with the sanction of the court stands on different footing and specific performance of such a contract can be ordered if the contract was beneficial to minor.